Good morning and welcome. Happy Monday. It's our early morning intuitive guidance. I'm Dr. Bonnie Nussbaum, America's kick-ass coach and psychologist. Here with some things for you to think about for the day. Hang on. Things are so dry. My throat is really dry. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, we ended up with a card deck today. Welcome to whomever is here. Glad you're here. I'm thinking it might be... Let's see. I'm waiting for the wave. <laughs> we'll see if it's Cindy. Yep, there you go. Good morning. Glad you're here. Um, so, the deck that jumped off the shelf today is the Allowing Prayers deck by Siobhan Nash. 57 Invitations to Spark a Conversation with Your Soul. So, we have a... An interesting card today, and this one is um, framed up a little differently than some of the other cards in this deck. So I'm probably going to, as usual, add to it and shift some things around just to get a, a perspective moving forward that can be of use to you. So let's just take a few minutes. Let's do some tapping here. Good morning, Melanie. Glad you are here. Welcome, welcome. Let's just tap. Right on the collarbone spot. We're just kind of flushing things out. Looks like someone else has joined us. Glad you're here. Some nice deep breaths in through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. I want you to just shake your hands out. All right. So this card, I think, is going to call us to action and... Trust that your um, higher guidance will lead you to which actions are indeed the right ones to take. All right? So again, Allowing Prayers deck. And our card is <laughs> Allow Action. Allow Action. Good morning, good morning. It looks like we've added a couple of others whose names aren't popping up. I know we have Cindy. I know we have Mel. The other two of you, I don't know. But that's, that is good. I'm glad you're here. Allow action. This is a good way to start off our week, right? So there's two questions. I'm going to add a third because I think it will take us the step further that we need to go. So the first question, again, just open your mind to receiving this question and savor the question. Allow it to kind of rattle around in your system and see what comes up. Good morning, Judy. Welcome. Glad you are here. So here's our first question. If you let yourself trust that any step you take will move you closer to your heart's desire, what action would you take? What action would you take? Just breathing, letting that roll around in your system. You may find that you kind of caught your breath and didn't keep breathing. So let's just get the breath moving. If you let yourself trust that any step you take will move you closer to your heart's desire, what action would you take? And some of you write things down when we do these yemigs. Some of you do not, but just can set in your mind, what step would you take? If you knew that any step you took would get you where you wanted to go, what step would you take? Next step question is, what's stopping you from taking that step? What is stopping you from taking that step? Might be fear, might be self-doubt, might be uncertainty. What's stopping you from taking that step? So with the one that I'm picking to answer this question, it's making a couple of phone calls. What's stopping me from taking the step is I don't know if it's time yet to make those phone calls. But allowing that to hang me up doesn't move things forward. So I may as well make the phone calls. And if I am too soon, I can always call them back down the road when the timing is more right. But then I would at least know if the timing was spot on or not, right? So the second question is, what's stopping you from taking that step? And the question I'm going to add in is, what, what, would, what would you like to do about what is stopping you from taking that step. 
What would you like to do to address that, whatever it is, fear, uncertainty, whatever, that's stopping you from taking that next step? For me, saying it out loud, that that's what was hanging me up, being uncertain if the timing was right, allows me to by-step that. Get, get around it and make the calls anyway and see if the timing is right or not. I don't have to know maybe on the front end if it's, <clears throat> excuse me, right timing yet or not. I maybe just make the phone calls, see what I get for outcome, and go from there. So here are the three questions again. If you let yourself trust that any step you take will move you closer to your heart's desire, what action would you take? What's stopping you from taking that step? <coughs> Excuse me. And what would you choose to do to address what's stopping you? Because we can allow it to hang us up. We can allow it to keep us from moving ourselves forward. Or we can do something to address it and move forward. My vote is that. <laughs> so, if you'd like to put some of those things, good morning, Sassy. If you'd like to put some of those things in the feed, we can do a little back and forth with them. So, what step would you take to move things forward to meet your heart's desire? What's keeping you from taking those steps? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and what would you like to do to address that? That'll be it for today. <coughs> Sorry, good grief. So, we're going to keep this short and simple. A, because I'm coughing my head off. And B, because you know what you need to do. You know what you can do. You know what would be in your highest and best good to do. So let's do it. <clears throat> and we'll do it together. We, each of us is stepping forward, taking an uncomfortable step, probably. A little bit uncomfortable. We can do hard things, okay? A la Glennon Doyle. We can do hard things. Have an awesome day. We'll see you again tomorrow. Remember, you're capable of far more than you think you are. And if you would like to receive these early morning intuitive guidances in your email, instead of having to hunt me down on my Facebook page, just send the word yes to bonnie at empowermentandpurpose.com. That's bonnie at, the at symbol, empowermentandpurpose, all little letters, all spelled out, dot com. We'll see you again tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye.